So would you like to add the actual PayPal into your Shopify payments? I'm going to show you how to get started in a very easy way. I'm going to leave your course the link down below in the description so we can all get started totally for free and then have an actual huge deal directly inside the Shopify. First of all, I'm going to sign into my PayPal account. So once I am signed into my actual PayPal account, it's going to be really easy to follow the next prompting steps. If you don't have an actual PayPal account, I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description so you can have an actual great and totally for free creating account here inside the actual PayPal. So first of all, what I want to do is to focus into Shopify. Now, it's going to be really important to check your Shopify plan. So ensure that your Shopify plan supports PayPal. Most Shopify plans come with PayPal integration capabilities, but it's good to double check your specific plan details on the Shopify website or within your administrator panel. If I focus into the settings and plan, I go for change my plan. And here what I wanted to do is to make sure that I have an actual element that enables the actual PayPal. In this case, I'm using the actual basics. So in this case, it is working really great. So once I do have now the Shopify plan checked it out, what I wanted to do is to now access the payment providers. First of all, we wanted to log in or let's go back again into the dashboard of Shopify. Once you're in, you want to navigate directly into the lab path that says settings and then click into the lab path that says settings. Now here, this area lets you manage all the actual aspect of the payment gateways for your store. In this case, let's add to bank PayPal. As you might be seeing here, we have the actual PayPal element already been enabled. So you need to choose the element that says activate PayPal. So this one is going to be telling us, of course, to activate the express checkout to connect my PayPal account. So if I go back into my online store, I'm going to show you how it actually looks to one product without adding the actual payment of the actual PayPal. So as you can see, we only have the product. I'm going to scroll all my way down and I only have view my card and I have nothing left or nothing else. So you wanted to see the actual PayPal buy button, right? So I'm going to go back directly into settings. Let's go into payments and I choose to activate the PayPal. Make sure that you have your actual PayPal already been enabled. So this is going to be making this much more faster. So let's set out the PayPal account. When you activate your actual PayPal account, you'll be prompted to log into your existing account and of course, uh, authenticate your credentials. And if you don't have a PayPal business account, you need to create one by following the prompts that appears inside the actual PayPal. Go into the upper side, look out for your account and into profile settings, you can change from a personal account into a business account. And of course, make sure that you have just assigned an N and confirmed the email. So PayPal is going to be sending us a confirmation email and follow the instructions to email verify your account. Now we can configure the PayPal settings. So PayPal settings according to your business needs. This includes the setting up payment capture settings, such as the whether you want to capture payment. And you might be seeing here that you have this actual element that says you have now an account and you have successfully integrated PayPal with Shopify. So I'm going to go back directly into my Shopify. This one should be taking me back into my plans. And you should see that we have now this element that says active and says, of course, connected. And there we go. Now, what you wanted to do is to test the PayPal payment method before going live. And please in the test order for your store and choose PayPal as the payment method at checkout so we can go through the actual process as a customer will ensure everything works seamlessly. I'm going to now integrate the actual button of PayPal or make sure this one has now been inserted directly. So for example, I choose one product and here I do have now this elements and I scroll all my way down and I make sure that I have added or I can add a blog which is the buy buttons. So this buy buttons, I needed to enable the dynamic checkout buttons and enable the show recipient information form gift cards. So I need to go here into save and I should see that this one has now been enabled automatically. So let's go and reload the page just to make sure this has now been applied into all my products. And lastly, you can understand the transaction fees, guys. So what you wanted to make sure is that the actual PayPal charges for each sale. So this information is available into PayPal website and we help you manage your pricing and managing effectively. Usually the actual PayPal is going to be taking 2% of all the transaction fees. So make sure you are totally okay with that. If not, you can argue with the support of the actual PayPal. And lastly, what you wanted to do is to make sure that this one has not been active and then you're actually good to go. 
So guys, that is actually it. You have successfully added the PayPal inside your store. Make sure that you go directly into payments, select the element, and of course, check out this one has been active and connected. And there you have it, guys. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you find this tutorial helpful, please like, subscribe, and share this with others. So keep tuning into online media for more e-commerce illusion and tips. Until next time.